You see, fight, look up to Jesus, the author and the finished perfecter of your faith. Don't look at how good or how bad you are. Don't look at your sin. Look at Him and took care of your sin. Don't look at your poverty and say, thank you Lord, I'm looking at you to take care of my poverty. Don't look at how this business deals, whatever, no, no, I'm looking at you because you already settled this business. Where is your focus? Where is your focus, people? But Lord, I've died, and I've came, and I've lived, and I still don't see nothing. Where's your focus? The top? I love God. But is that your focus? Then stop God. Hmm? You see what I'm saying? Where's your focus? I look at Jesus, I honor Him. Lord, I love you. So that's why. That's the difference. We spoke about it yesterday. Hard attitude. How many people tithe and give? I see no prosperity. A lot of people tithe and see no prosperity. Oh, we give, we give, that's another. But get some dips here and there and there. Where's your focus? Focusing on Him that made you worthy. Focus on Him that brings you prosperity. Because He says, I give you the power to grant wealth. Not you. Focus on Him and see the change in your life. Focus on Him and stop praising Him. See, also one of the biggest things as well I'm saying is that as well is also praising Him. Praising Him. We have a prophetic word for Him out. It's praising Him. So God inhabits the praises of His people, isn't it? The Bible says. And so when you already praise God for your breakthrough, He's inhabiting, inhabits, He inhabits it already for you, so you can take it because you believe Him in advance for it. He preoccupies it for you for safekeeping. So in other words, He says, you know what? You praise God already for the breakthrough already to come here. God, I'm praising for you. That's fine. And says, because you have the praise of these people, he says, I wake up before you, because you believe me, so I'm occupying it. I'm saving for you till the time comes to give it to you. Isn't that right? What happened to you in, in Jehoshaphat? The praise people went before the people, and then what happened? The people got slain and killed, and when these praises went before the people. So we stop praising the guys up before and God is there giving you victory in the camp. So the time comes and you come and that God destroys and then you come after this and you take the blood and the sports. Isn't that right? Isn't it right? But people will and complain. What does God do? Wipe them out. Go and read Numbers 11. You know, hectic stuff. Thank God for His grace, you know? Because He was not a mediator. Moses sort of, but the true mediator was Christ. You see, we need to also praise God continuously. Through our motivation, through everything, we need to praise Him. Praise Him when it's going good, praise Him when it's going bad. Praise Him when you get a bad report. You know how many powerful people come to business message? I said, man, it doesn't look like I'm gonna, this deal's going to go through. I said, that's what they think and that's what you think. Start to start changing your mind and then see what God will do for you. And I pray and say, God says so and so and so, and it happens. But if I didn't change it, I just, just change his mind and the way he thinks, the way he acts, and things would have happened very bad for me. So I start praising God for your breakthrough. Start seeing what God is seeing. Start receiving what God tells you to receive. All things are possible. You can receive anything, people. Like the other day I was praying and stuff, and God showed my bed in my, in my driveway. But is it the season for my bed now? I know that. Is it the season for certain things? No, but I, I keep that vision before me. That's why we write this, this stuff down right here. Put this vision on the tablet, make it plain so he that sees it will run with it. It will not tarry, but wait for it. 
So that's why we write this stuff down. To remind us. And to see how God's had been through for us. I mean, a really awesome place. Everything that I ask, I will have. But when I ask God, how do I pray? I've taught you guys. Lord, this is what I want. This is what I, Lord, I'm going for. But Lord, if it's going to cost me, then I don't want it. Because first of all, we see the dollar side. But then it costs us at the end of the day. So Lord, this looks good, the deal looks good, Lord. But I pray, Father, if I've missed it, Lord, you'll quickly correct me. And God was, you will have nothing. You just keep on going, keep on going. And soon, it, almost when the deal is closed, it just falls apart. Something happens. You say, ah. I say, oh, it doesn't happen because remember what you prayed? See, but whatever you ask, you will have. So be careful what you ask for. Might be a lot of money, but you might get it with a lot of sorrow. Be careful for that as well. Pray with wisdom and understanding. Ask with wisdom and understanding. Because you can, whatever you ask, you will have to. Be careful what you ask for. Because God is very, you know, I can say so many songs in the Bible. You know, if people ask the wrong stuff, they got the wrong stuff. They thought it was the right stuff, but they got the wrong stuff. Lot. But what then? Cost him. No. People, I oh, want the king, I oh, want the king. Gave it Saul. Saul came, messed up. Two examples this morning. So, guys, this morning, I hope you guys stood a little bit about something this morning. It's not me preaching this morning. We are standing in preaching here this morning. But well, visit as well. Uh, just give them some pamphlets and stuff as well. What I want you to do, because there's some visits here, is that you write down what you desire of the Lord. It's a powerful thing. You write that in me. You say, Lord, I need this person to do something. Lord, oh, Lord, I thank you for this. Lord, this is what I'm asking. This is what I ask. This is what I ask. Whatever you ask, you will have. So you put it there on Lord. And I promise you can actually make a duplicate. And you see, God's going to come through for you. This is this reality. These people write us down. All the stuff in this ministry comes to pass. I promise you, everything comes to pass when we pray in this place. Because it's unity. So, Lord, I need seven billion rand to get through this. What? You could ask that. You said you can't. Stop. Ask big, receive big. Ask small, get small. Ask a miss, you get a miss. So, ask now what you want, you decide. Lord, I want an income of 50,000 rand a month. Lord, I would like my debt to be set. Lord, I want, you know, the prophetic word went out, you know, for the businesses will grow 200%, so we really started to happen. So we really started to have 200% increase in the business in the month by month in this ministry. So we really started to happen. Amen. Supernatural debt free, things are happening already. Prophetic words with confirmation again on Tuesday, things are happening. A lot of people will testify. A lot of people is not yet that, that should testify. <laughs> so ask me, receive me. It's impossible. I don't know how this debt can be set up. I can tell you how my debt got set up. I can tell you supernatural debt cancellation of thousands of friends in my life. They didn't tell me that. Don't read Elijah all this stuff. Peter, fish in a hook, first coin, supernatural debt cancellation. All of this stuff is possible, people, but can you see it and can you receive it? We believe Jesus is Lord, isn't it? So if you believe Jesus is Lord, then it's time for us to receive His promises, which is yes and yes, amen. So write that stuff down this morning. Say, Lord, I want A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then, in that, then after that, you start praising Him for it, isn't it? That's all you do. That's how simple the gospel is. You see, that's what I'm saying. I go past, I believe, I believe, I know. I know that I know that I know. I know my God comes to me. I don't have to believe it. I know it. And if God puts it on your heart to sow a seed, then sow a seed, significant seed. If it's one seed, 100 grand. Or if you don't have money, people, by faith, you up close your hands and Lord come to the front and sow it into the front here. Even if you don't have money. Because it's an act of faith and belief. It's an act of promise. Lord, your word says, you know what? If you give seed to the eater, oh, seed to the sower and bread to the eater. 
You promise this is true law. I'm taking this for me. My debt is settled. My business is expanding 200% because you said so. Lord, I'm taking it, Lord. I'm getting new ideas. I'm getting new contracts, Lord. I'm getting unexpected income in my bank account. Lord, I see your word and your truth. Lord, I see you healing from my body, healing from my family. Lord, I see this stuff is coming through. Your word is true and faithful. Your word is true and just. Lord, it is settled here on earth. It's settled in heaven. Lord, Father, Lord, I thank that I'm your son. I'm a king and a priest of the most high God. Lord, your word that is. Lord, I'm just reminding of your promises, Lord. I don't believe it, Lord. I just know it. That's how it should be. And see what God will do for you. Hope you are stirred. Yes. Not shaken, but stirred. I was concerned, so I'm shaking some more.